Hello, it's Thursday the 28th of May 2009. This is Brian Shannon. We're going to do a, a little update here uh, midday. Uh, the S&P 500 you can see is still locked in this uh, range obviously. Uh, biggest level of support it remains down near that 88 area. If that fails then uh, and I don't think it will be today but that's what we need to continue to focus on in the bigger picture. On the 10 minute time frame you can see that uh, we got above that declining 5 day moving average but uh, is getting rejected there. And more importantly since this move began began on Tuesday this is the volume weighted average price for the week and what we'd seen yesterday was the two-day VWAP I was pointing out well today that turns into the three-day volume weighted average price because this is the average price that this market has traded at since Monday or since Tuesday when it opened and for the Nasdaq we can see in here that this market's been holding a little bit stronger but still struggling with that level the financials um, basically what it means is when we see this happen that the the rally that began on uh, three days ago the average participant is now losing in there and when it acts as resistance I interpret that as that uh, the bigger players are defending it against the average price right now and the same goes through uh, true for the uh, Russell 2000 as well you can see that we rallied a little bit in here and got rejected short of that uh, prior uh, level. So uh, let's take a look at some of the stocks we had uh, been involved in. Um, we, we had seen that uh, uh, we were in GPRO as a short sale. The instructions there were to wait for it to rally to 43.55 uh, right to here this morning and then sell short with momentum below 43.40. So once again, it wasn't the best entry, but it, if you it shorted it at 43.55, you would have taken unnecessary heat for about 60 cents or so. So that that's, that's why we want to see this big rally fail. And what you can do is get a, get involved a little bit earlier. This would have been really the ideal entry right here where it holds below that daily VWAP and then breaks down. Officially, we got involved uh, at $43.40, and I did sell some short there as well. Um, PWR was another one that we were involved with on the short side, and the instructions in here uh, were that we wanted to see this stock rally as well. I said we want to see it to rally to at least $21.70. So we wanted to see it at least get to $21.70 and then short it on weakness below 21.55, so right in here. Uh, I suggested taking a partial profit down in here, and we did get stopped out of the balance up there. Uh, by the way, GPRO, we still have an open position of a third of, of that, that stock. Uh, it took a dollar on part of it, and uh, the stop basically is right here, above just above this reaction high. So if it clears that, it makes a higher high in the short term, and there's no reason to continue to be involved. SOL, we got stopped out break even, which was about $4.15. Hopefully, you'd seen that I had raised the stop in there, but uh, just no momentum in that one. And CDNS, I said that we basically wanted to take our profit of about 15 cents uh, while we had it. And uh, here's what I'm going to be uh, focusing on this afternoon. Couple symbols: uh, the the GDX, that's the gold miners, is having a a, a strong day. GDX. Um, right here we can see uh, is is breaking higher and I had mentioned earlier a couple of the gold uh, stocks to keep an eye on are, are Ego and uh, KGC those are the ones that I'm going to be watching as far as if this market continues to get uh, hit uh, hard I'm, I'm looking at SLGN as a potential short it's breaking down a little bit right now out of this little range here so uh, I don't have a position in it but I'll be watching that one closely I will continue to watch PWR I think there's still opportunity in there I still think there's opportunity I own some puts in in uh, Gilead uh, we've also got a uh, you know, one of the commercial real estate uh, that lo looks better to me on the short side is HME this is home properties uh, HME you can see I'll, uh, so I'll be looking at that one as a potential short nothing specific in here but uh, you know make these ideas your own worst case stop I would say up there if you're gonna get involved uh, I'm also looking at UPS is uh, something that could continue on the downside here's the daily chart Here's a 10-minute uh, look at it. And uh, finally, I'm also looking at ZNT as a potential short sale. It seems as though the sellers are getting a little bit more aggressive in here uh, in, in, in the market. And obviously, in this stock, it's you know, hanging on one of those little precipices that could get it get going. So keep an eye on that one. But the markets themselves, uh, be careful not to become too bearish yet because we're still locked within a range. And there's bigger levels of support down below that seem to be holding. 